going to church today. On day three, here we go. Here's Peter's crane. What kind of crane is this? Looking good. So this is a Grove 55 ton uh, AT, six wheel drive crane. It's pretty sweet. First we said it was too short, but now here we are. <laughs> now it's too tall. Yeah, the 90 ton uh, canceled due to wind. And so we're gonna make the, the most of using our own uh, crane today. We've got a big, uh, big tree to take down. Thanks for doing the climbing. Yeah, no problem. It's a ton of fun. AT stands for all terrain. Do all the tires steer? Every one of them. <laughs> all six of them. And what's your footprint? You know, it's 21 feet outside to outside. So, uh, and we've got, there's a couple different settings could be sucking in uh, halfway, half spread, but we're going 21 feet out. 21's pretty compact. It really is. I mean, uh, it's amazing what you can do in that footprint. Yeah. And it's also pretty short. Like if you look at, it's like 20, 21 feet um, wide. And then the, the outrigger spread is 22 feet long. Uh, From oh, outrigger to outrigger? Yeah, yeah. So that, that footprint is pretty tight. Yeah. I guess that's what you need in Seattle. So we're on an incline. What we'd love to do to uh, maximize our dunnage, we're gonna raise up the back and lower the front. The suspension? That's right. Man, that's wild. That's crazy. I don't know if you can tell that in the video, but look at this gap here versus this gap right here. So before he even starts leveling with the outriggers, he can actually move the suspension of the truck. So it's actually pretty close to level already, just starting out now. That's incredible. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like this is pretty much level, but look, look at how much height we gain on that outrigger. So all we have to do is build it up and we're good to go. Man, that saves a lot of time. Isn't that cool? Good thing we got these. Passenger stash. Oops. This lets me drive in the carpool lane. <laughs> yeah, that's a tree truck, all right. <laughs> really fast to level. Cool? The suspension is crazy how big of a difference that made. Yeah, yeah, these cranes are from Europe and Europe and Seattle are somewhat similar. A lot of hills, tight streets, uh, you know, hard to set up areas. Like Pretty it. cool. What kind of slings are we using? Yeah, these are really cool. These are uh, Gunnabo chains. They got a really good uh, positive lock on them. The more load you put on them, the tighter the gate gets. And then we're throwing them on a, it's called a, like a Sherlock hook. Really great. So Gunnabo, Sweden. What's nice about this is you don't have the typical little uh, cotter pin and the narrow gate that can get damaged on a crane. So when we're coming through a tree canopy, this is probably the last thing uh, you need to worry about because it is on there. 
And then here look at that for that master the, link. Yeah, look at that. So that's your <laughs> climbing anchor. You'll put your climbing line right through that. Really uh, simple, secure yeah. setup. Yeah, so these are the cinetics that Peter and his guys use. So this is maybe your best option if you want something really reliable, but also expensive. I mean, how much are they? They're like you know, you, really expensive, right? Yeah, I think each headset is like 800 bucks and the base station is over a thousand. Yeah, so. so you have to have this base station nearby and they all link to that. Are you mic'd up? So if money's no issue, this might be a really good option if you want something that's really bulletproof, really high quality. But the downside is you got to keep the base station nearby. Uh, they're really yeah, expensive. It has its pros and cons. You know, losing connection with the crane can be a really big deal. And this is probably your best bet if you want to avoid that. But they just use these. So they have like dedicated helmets for the crane work portion. They don't, not everybody has these. A lot of the climbers here have seen us because they have like 30 crew guys. They have a bunch of crews. So, but they've just got a handful of these synthetics for when they're doing crane work because it's important that people don't lose communication with each other but you know i was wearing this all day yesterday and i gotta say the sound quality was much better than anything i've had with seen as their pack talks so all right we're gonna get to work okay you guys can all hear me yep i can hear you can you hear me yeah i just turned my volume up which is your left hand there's if you're finding it's not loud enough, Jacob. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, yeah, cable down. My line is single line up there, so I'm actually going to do this. Hold on. Use my flip line. Um, you're gonna pick me up by my flip line, but I'm gonna be backed up by this rope that's up there already. So I'm gonna flip in the book. So uh, I am double tied in. Um, okay, I think we're good to go, Peter. Sounds good. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, cable down. And keep cabling down. good thanks for letting me ride the ball anytime think about how much faster this would have been if the crane would have just come out let us ride the ball <laughs> get it all done monday and here we're wednesday or it would have blown over i mean that was pretty pretty breezy that was pretty windy it chains right behind you watch those hooks how much stick do you have out right now? So I've got 125. Is that your whole boom? Yep, that's everything I got without the jib. Well, it looks like we're about the perfect height. Yeah. What do you want to do for lengths? Oh, also, what are you good for? So I'm good for line pull, which is 10,000 pounds. I'd love to be picking in like the seven to eight, maybe even, you know, like five to six to start, just until we get kind of like a feeling on the weight. So I'm gonna open this loop, cable down. Hold it. Spread this out. Should I keep cabling down? Yeah. Okay, hold it. This basket way that you're doing, so I've done exactly what I just did with slings before. And the chains work way better because they're heavier. They just slide down. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of let them do the work. Yeah, that was quite nice. Okay, that's good. Hold it, one sec. Um, but I probably don't want, do I want the gate? I probably don't want the gate up against the trunk, right? It's fine. I mean, it, as long as like, oh yeah, the gate would face out if possible. I'm gonna unclip this for a second and reverse that. And, and maybe I'm thinking a choker placement four feet lower. Four feet lower than this? Yeah. What I really want is like a, a below a stub and I see a stub right below your flip line that could be a, a nice positive catch for it. Okay, cable down. Okay, good. Hold it. Dude, I think it's good. I think you can cinch that up. I'm gonna set it if your fingers are clear. Yep, fingers are clear. Man, that was... Uh... So you see one chain is clipped to that one, that chain's clipped to this. 
So it's actually grabbing as sort of one unit. Dude, I like that. That was really, really easy to rig. Yep, chains you think heavy and, you know, but you let them do the work. Yeah, I've done that exact method with these big, uh, they're like giant nylon slings or, I don't know, they're called endless loop slings and they've got a shackle on them. And that was like four times as fast. Why don't I set it into the grapple? That would be, that would be the best. So yeah, let's just leave it the way you have it, but leave it I idling. Have you ever done that before? Just set it right in the truck? We did on a, on another um, big crane job and it worked really well. It'll just be really important to like, you know, always the shifting wood, you can get pinched in, in a bad spot. So um, just communicate. That's where those, the, you know, synetics is so nice. So I, I think this is going to be about 6,500. I like it. But it could be way off. It's, it's kind of dense wood. I've got 3,000 on it. I think that's great. Ready, ready when you are to cut. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. Are we going a uh, flat cut kind of towards the boom of the crane? That's what I was planning. Is that what you like? I like it. Yeah, I think that'll work great. What's it weigh? <laughs> uh, 3,500. What? You serious? Yeah. Way off, not even close. I was probably overthinking it because of uh, the age of the tree. I was like, maybe it's like extra dense, but it's really light. Yeah, <laughs> really light. <laughs> Dude, I'm still bad at guessing these weights. 3,500 pounds, man. Nice cutting, that thing was just puking chips. And then Peter, um, when you get a chance, yeah, you'll take the chains off and then use the loader arm to just, we're trying to maximize the space in there. So, so I like to go either close to me or away from me and then off to one side. That's cool. I feel so privileged to get to work on this tree, really. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you never have an excuse this good for taking down a tree this nice. Hey, I don't need an excuse to take down a tree this nice, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah, I always look at like trees and think that thing is so beautiful. I would love to cut it down. Just don't go to like Sequoia National Forest or anything like that. Yeah, that's a little excessive. <laughs> great, great placement, Peter. Cable down. Have you seen the, uh, the, the sequoias in the Sierra Nevada? I am in awe of those trees, really. I mean, have you seen them in real life? I ha I've visited a couple times. I've never climbed one. Cable down. I'm going to hop on the ball. Just cable all the way down? Yeah, all the way down. I really like these chains. Aren't they? Uh, they're, yeah, and they, they've they got a lot of grab to them. And they're adjustable. That's dangerous though. <laughs> cable down. That's one downside. Yeah, cable down one more. Okay, good. That'd actually be super dangerous if you're trying to do like a balance pick and you got it all bunched up above you. Okay, cable. Oh yeah, that's right. Cable up. Two 
dude, yeah, I'm all about this. It's so interesting how many ways there are to crane slings. There's so many options. Cable down. Cable down. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Hold on. All right, little Mark. Keep coming. You good? Oh yeah, I see a good knot on this side. You good? That's so slick how you're on the ball. That's a great call. Cable down. Good. It's freaking working it. All right, I think we're uh, all good. You can cinch that up. Okay. Got that pretty low. It's probably like eight feet of stub above this. That's okay. So we'll go 12 feet below it. Right. So I think this is about 12 feet below it and it's pretty chunky. I like it. Yeah. You feel good about this? Yeah. You know, there's a knot uh, on my side. Like, are you going to cut right above that? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, right here. You feel good about that? I like it. I think we're definitely bottom heavy, wouldn't you say? We're bottom heavy. I mean, if you want to include that that stub. Maybe just like a foot lower? Yeah, or yeah, it's two inches lower. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're good for the weight, that's for sure. This is a big log. I don't think this is going to fit in your truck. Now we're logging. Well, it's 22 feet, the, the truck, so we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, this one might be... I'm probably wrong. I look at this and think, man, this might be like 9,000 pounds. That's good. You're going over though. Always favor the crane. Like I, I think this one's going to be 56. You think so? Yeah, or six. Dude, I've done so much crane work and I'm always scared. <laughs> I'm never not scared when I do these big logs. That's good. Yeah, I've never had one like come undone or anything, but it's like all that's running through my head every time. Which I will say, like, I'm rotating, I'm picking and I'd like to rotate to the truck. Is it at all possible to, like, cut that way? So, so like, your back would be to the church? Back to the church, like, cut opposite? Yeah, just because, so I'm picking and then I have to rotate over you. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It, I'd love to, like, rotate away from you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna cut this, Peter. Ready? When you are. Peter. Nice cut. Thanks. Nice pick. Yeah, that got heavy quick. That's seven K. That's seven thousand? Yep. Dude, it's huge though. Like it seems like it should be heavier than that. Some nice wood. I've been uh, I've been in the Midwest too long. Their wood weighs a lot more. Well, there's plenty more tree left. <laughs> That's not a legit excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You know, it's crazy, man, that I, I got maybe two inches of bar left. So I'll be buried in the next one. Three cuts in. Yeah. This is 42 inches. And then, yeah, Peter, just staying out for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lay it down to the front. Okay, chains off, Peter. Dude, your crane is tiny. Does it really look pretty compact? It looks so compact. And you wouldn't, Having the, the all wheel steering is just crazy. I mean, like I could turn around in this cul-de-sac, literally. I can turn tighter than my Ford 350. <laughs> the 395 might be my favorite saw of all time. I don't, I don't use it that often because it's so big and bulky, but whenever I use it, I, I'm, I'm impressed by it, like every time I use it. So riddle me this. What about the chain tensioner on it? The chain tensioner is horrible and it's got a lot of flaws, like bolts always rattle loose and stuff. And it's really heavy. Like it's not a pleasant saw to walk around somebody's yard or in the woods, like falling smaller trees. But when you have to like bury it into 40 inch wood, it's like, I don't know, it's, even though it's got a lot of flaws, it's all worth it. I know up on Vancouver Island, guys just swear by that saw, you know, fell in old growth. Dude, it's like the bigger the wood gets, the more the saw likes it. Yeah, I'm gonna hop on the ball again. It makes dressing the chains easier. Leave one down. Okay, good. Dude, I like this master link too. It's really clever. It's bomber, right? No shackle to like always be wondering if it's screwed in tight. Cable up. Okay, good. Cable down. We good. Yeah, go ahead and tension it. I like it. That's some big wood now. Uh, where do you think? Like right here? I like it. Yeah. Getting chunky. <laughs> it really is now. I like this bridge, I can like suck this bridge all the way up. So, and then just to talk about it, so our last one was 7,000. So we, it was, wasn't it 3,500? Then it went 7,000. So this one we'd love, yeah, I mean, if it was like 65, but seven, because it's a lot shorter, isn't it? It's a lot shorter. It's also a lot, it's a lot fatter too. And I got huge stubs on it. I think it's going to be 6,500. 6,000. I think it's going to be 6,000.
a big cut. Oh man, I love how you ream it out though. That's so key. What, like, like pulling the sawdust out? Yeah, just back chaining, revving, you know, you're not bogging down in it. Yeah, I like to pull the saw, yeah, exactly. Two reasons, I don't bog down and then I can see that curve. Like I can get down and look inside of it, you know? It's so nice. Okay, so what'd you guess on this one? I forget. I guess 6,000. Okay, because I'm moving, it's bouncing around. It's like, um, it's 6.5. Ah, I said 6.5 and then I changed it. Guilty? Yep. So have you ever stood on top of a spar? It's so fun and it makes the best photo. Yeah. <laughs> like I could even crane you up and stand and then take the crane away or like if you're up for that. Yeah, I'm up for it. You know, I do after the next one. Cause then I can get the church in the background. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. It'll just, uh, it'll look like you're Superman, you know? Sounds great. I'm a big fan of these Cinetics, man. That's great. Yeah, they feel, I mean, once they're connected, it's good. I think they'd be really good just going out with the same crew every day because then you don't have to like sync them. Yeah, they definitely have their downsides. They sure do. Like it wouldn't make any sense for me to buy. No, they're like a system, you know? I mean, frankly, you've already spent so much money by the time you buy a crane. It's like, and it's so critical. The communication is so key, you know? So critical, I mean. It's just the base station, you know, I keep hearing about there's like better ones. I think they're called Tough Talk or something. Maybe by uh, Peltor. They got to come out with a better one. Dude, I bet like 10 years from now, there's going to be so many good options. It's pretty new technology. Hold it. At least. Well, these probably aren't that new technology, actually. It's probably like with the... I remember nice guy Dave telling me that he likes radio stuff that like the military uses that these are military like yeah or uh, coast guard uses them cable down good the audio is cable down one more is the best i've good ever experienced in a helmet okay what what do you think you liking it did i feel pretty good about this i got about four feet above the slings and they grab so hard, like they just really sink into the tree. That's good. So I'd go ahead and cinch that up. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Too much? Well, uh, right there is good, right, th yeah. I just, I think, in my mind, the, the, the weight is gonna get, it's really gonna catch up to us. Okay, so you like it right here? You, you could go a touch lower. I mean, there's, yeah, there's no way that weighs 10,000, right? No way. Um, I, I think it's gonna weigh seven seven thousand. Okay. Yeah, go ten inches lower. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it's really whatever height you want to stand on next. I got a nice shot of the church right behind me here. Nobody stood there for a hundred and ten years where you're gonna stand next. It's pretty cool. Like you know, right in the on top of the stump. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so many people have passed through this area, never right there. So you think in like two more picks after this? It might be three, it might be three. Huh? That stump's probably really heavy. If we maximize this, we could probably get away with two, but.
five. Six five? Six five. Nice. Nice work. That looks so cool. It's quite the tree, man. Oh, hey, uh, Patrick, there's a bird of prey just landed to your left. See him? There's like a red-tailed hawk. Coming after me. So have you been recording video this whole time, Patrick? Do you think you could uh, maybe get a couple photo photos? A man in his tree. Yeah, anything to go viral. <laughs> okay, cable down a little bit. And the hawk came in? That was so cool. That was the spirit of, uh, what was her name? Florence? What? Yeah. Cable down. Keep cabling down. Good. Can you like cable all the way up just so I'm not, you're not in my way when I throw this around? A long commute for my foot plane. Cable down. Dude, I love these slings. Right? So nice, yeah, just start cabling down. Yeah, a little more. Probably don't want to take okay, it. That's good. Okay, what the last one weighs? 65? He's 65, so, you know, this is, this is definitely bigger. I think this is good, you know? We've got a good four feet above us. And that chain bites so hard. Let me, I, I'm gonna go down a, a touch and then cable. Okay. okay. You like it? Oh yeah, that's, that's biting for sure. Yeah, that's great. So where are you thinking? Man, I say I keep going. Keep going. I mean, right? Yeah, right in there. This one's gonna take me a couple minutes to get through. Good thing you got gas. So after I cut this pick, I'd love to just hand somebody my husky so I don't have to hold it. All right, ready, Peter? Yep.
Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. Dude, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> that was a lot of wood to chew through. They're so big, I'm having a hard time like uh, pre-tensioning the boom. Like you'll, you'll notice they're drifting like away from you. And I gotta, I gotta dial that in a little more. It felt good though. Yeah, I'd love to hand the saw down. Yeah, those are awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Nice cut. Thanks. <laughs> it took a few minutes, man. It actually worked. It worked really good, though. Just chasing the tip. I actually walked all the way around the trunk, yeah. and it worked rather well. Jacob, I, I think we got to just take a little break. And, and you could even go to the ground, but I gotta swap trucks. I gotta come back with a hook lift. Dude, I'm nowhere near the cambium of this tree. I'm all in bark. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> I was just about to say it's a little nerve wracking and then yeah. Nice work on the grapple truck, man. Thanks, Peter. All right, so that truck's full. Peter's going to take it away. And he's going to come back with a different truck for this butt piece. I will be back in a flash. back with the second truck look at that he's got a big dump container he's just gonna drop it off right there i'm gonna hoist you up there okay and then you're gonna set that rig in and yep. and then you might be cutting for, like off your spurs right there you think because yeah, sounds... this is this has got to be over 10 for sure a rat Can I try your 66? Oh, sure. Yeah, start that thing up for him, Banks. Steel versus Husky. <laughs> I, I can see the thumbnail now. Okay, so cable up. Cabling up. I don't know, man. You're kind of cross-loading this master link. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you're going to lower yourself. Is that how? Uh, yeah, if you just get right over the top of this thing, I'll just repel. Cable down. Good. You know, I might be tempted to even slide it a little high. I, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I, I feel you. I, I, I'm thinking that bottom part is going to be so heavy. Where, and you're going to cut kind of low on this one. I mean, not low, but like, I like it. I really do. Okay. Those, those chains don't slip at all, man. That's good. That's what we want. <laughs> Honestly, you know, yeah, see, watching all your awesome videos of East Side, I was just like, man, they got to try these chains. They would love these. And I'm, I'm a big fan. What it is is we, we bought all the stuff they recommended when we went to crane school. That's all the stuff they used. We just bought all the same stuff and that's what we used. But these are awesome. All right. I think I'm about ready to make my cut. All right. Yeah, I'll try that 66 out. Yep.
it, hold it right there. The sap is on fire. Dude. Dude, there's literally so much sap. Dude, it's just so much sap. It's not on fire anymore. It was on fire though. <laughs> I just blew it out. <laughs> yeah, it was just getting clobbered with pitch on the inside. Man, that's a big cut, man. That's so much sap. Seriously puddled up here. <laughs> I feel good if you want to cinch it up. I think it looks good. Look at that Jeff Schroeder special. This is the first time I've used it. Four pound plum, 30 inch curve handle. Uh, this this head's probably from the 40s or 50s. What? Yeah. It's, it's a nice. cool piece of history.
here we go. <laughs> What's it weigh? 9,000 pounds. Look at that goo. There's so much sap. Can you get another picture of us? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Try to look this time. Yeah, if you hop on the crane, I can probably get a really good picture of you. Yeah, that's cool. Got it. Huge stress fracture in this thing. Crazy. Yeah, really. It feels like it's got the consistency of oatmeal. <laughs> much stickier. Look at that. Golden delicious. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice rigging. I'm actually surprised at that huge fracture in there. like a pickup truck.
going to take off. So it was nice job. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'll see ya. Hey, I'm taking off, so it was oh, good. Right it was nice to meet you. It's yeah, good you working too, with man. you. Nice job. Right on. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. Sweet. Yeah, super fun project. I'll remember that for all my life. That was really something. Cool tree, cool location. I had a ton of fun, Peter. Thanks for having me along Isn't for this. Amazing? Thanks for doing all that awesome climbing, getting through that really windy day. That was pretty windy. No, that was a ton of fun, man. I had a great time. Yeah, thanks again, Peter. Thank you, Jacob. All right, well, that's it for this one. That was super fun working with Peter and his guys. What a cool, what a special tree. I was really, I'm, I'm just really grateful to have been a part of the story for this church and this tree. Really something special. So hopefully you like that. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, not my old channel. And yeah, I think by the time I edit this video, I'll probably have some merchandise available too. Hopefully, um, yeah. I, <laughs> hopefully, I didn't just back my I just, kind of just back myself in a corner right there. So I probably have merchandise by the time I finish uploading this. And you can support this show at Patreon.com/treason. I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you like that, and I'll see you on the next one.